Production is hard. And this building is the, the, the most advanced car factory that Earth has ever seen. So. You never know what will be next with this insane company. Tesla's new Gigafactory, dubbed Giga Texas, is in full mode action. If reports from the site are true as claimed, it will revolutionize the auto industry entirely. In fact, Giga Texas has secretly managed to ramp up production to thousands of units per week, and this insane speed changes everything. I'll be telling you just how. It's no news. Tesla is one of the world's largest and most formidable technology corporations with a market cap of nearly $620 billion and a mission to hasten the global transition to sustainable energy by means of its electric vehicles and energy products. Tesla has constructed a steel factory in Austin, Texas, costing an insane $1.06 billion to produce its Cybertruck, electric semi-truck, Model 3, and Model Y vehicles. It will be the company's fourth U.S. factory, joining its vehicle assembly plant in California, a solar plant in New York, and a battery plant in Nevada. Tesla also makes cars near Shanghai, China, and is building a factory near Berlin. The new plant is expected to hire 5,000 full-time employees who will earn an average of $47,000 per year. In today's video, we will be discussing the Gigafactory in Texas, its speed of production, along with a rare insight on what happens inside the manufacturing plant. So without any further delay, let's dive right into the video. Following its much-publicized move from the mellow pastures of Silicon Valley to the Lone Star State, Tesla has finally found a place to call home. Located in Travis County, close to the outskirts of Austin, Texas, the Giga Texas was estimated to cost nearly $1.1 billion, generate approximately 10,000 jobs, and provide numerous contractors and suppliers with economic benefits. Before we talk about the current production process, labor speed, and work taking place at Giga Texas, it is important to know the background and the potential reasons why Elon Musk chose Texas for this factory. Did you know it's the largest building in the world? The newest and largest of the Giga factories can boast a total land area unrivaled by any of its predecessors. Tesla has stated that the building currently encompasses a space measuring 8 million square feet and is situated on a plot measuring 1,700 acres. The entire facility is powered by renewable sources of energy, with solar panels serving as its primary source of electricity. In addition to the production of automobiles and batteries, the facility is scheduled to begin operations in the areas of painting, stamping, casting, and body shop operations by the end of the year. The Architectural Review Board's approval is necessary for any of these departments to move forward. Tesla has already completed a trial run with the manufacturing of the Model Y at the factory, and the company plans to begin producing the vehicle in volume the following year. Elon Musk has picked Texas for a reason. Tesla has been the subject of Texas state government's courtship efforts for some time. After several months of economic stagnation due to the effects of COVID, the news that Tesla will establish its headquarters in the state was a welcome relief. According to an article published in Texas Monthly, Tesla has indicated that 65% of the employment it creates will require only middle school educations rather than college degrees. Additionally, the corporation is committed to hiring locals from the Travis County area for at least half of the available positions. Nevertheless, this is the kind of partnership that benefits both parties. Not only does Texas supply Tesla with important natural resources, but the state also offers a plentiful supply of land at prices that are significantly lower than those in California. Most crucially, individuals in the state of Texas are not subject to any form of state income tax or tax on capital gains. The amount of tax rebates that the corporation is anticipated to get is close to $65 million, as stated in a report published by Bloomberg. In addition to this, Tesla is expected to be eligible for significant property tax credits in the near future. Let's talk about our favorites, robots. Elon Musk, an outspoken critic of AI development, declared in August that the Tesla bot would enter development at the then upcoming Giga Texas. In addition to all of the robots that will be utilized for the various specialized manufacturing tasks, Spaceman Musk will also be there. The mobile robotics team at Tesla, which is tasked with bringing to life an advanced humanoid that uses the same sensors and artificial intelligence as Tesla's self-driving autopilot software, is looking for an engineer to join their team. Tesla has posted a job opening for this role on their website. 
By the middle of 2022, a prototype that really works is anticipated to be completed. All of Musk's operations are seeking haven in Texas. It's not just Tesla that's firmly established in the Lone Star State. Considering that the state is also the location of NASA's headquarters, it was only natural for SpaceX to make an early property purchase there as well. SpaceX requires a consistent supply of fuel, and the oil capital of the United States is the ideal location for this. Musk's other companies, such as the Boring Company and Neuralink, have begun hiring in Texas as a direct result of Musk's interest in the state of Texas, where he is both admired and hated in equal measure. According to Bloomberg, a battery energy storage facility with a capacity of 100 megawatts is being constructed in Angleton, Texas by Gambit Energy Storage LLC, a subsidiary of Tesla. Batteries are used at the facility to store the renewable energy that is generated by solar panels and wind turbines. This is a move that is sure to prove profitable in the future, as Tesla's energy storage vertical continues to rake in large amounts of money. According to reports, Tesla's energy generation and storage sector brought in a total of $801 million in income for the company in 2017. Massive output from Giga Texas in Q1 2023. In the first quarter of 2023, Tesla intends to implement a significant increase in the amount of Model Y vehicles that are manufactured at the Gigafactory in Texas. During this time, the position in the United States has become somewhat more complicated as a result of the forthcoming tax credit. Since the beginning of this month, Tesla's Gigafactory in Berlin has been producing 2,000 Model Y automobiles each week, and the company has been keeping us apprised of the progress being made in the production ramp there. In addition, Manufacturing levels at the automaker's Gigafactory Texas facility are also being increased. Tesla, on the other hand, is not as forthcoming with information regarding the production rate at the Austin factory. Back in June, Tesla verified a manufacturing pace of 1,000 Model Ys per week. And in September, the company reported that it had successfully produced its 10,000th Model Y. However, the corporation has never verified a manufacturing rate of 2,000 units per week in contrast to what it did for the Gigafactory in Berlin. In spite of this, we have recently learned that Tesla is feeling highly confident about the ramping up of production at the Gigafactory in Texas. Media outlets have been informed by a credible person with knowledge of the situation that Tesla is presently making preparations for the production of 75,000 Model Y automobiles at the Gigafactory in Texas over the next quarter. Taking into account the full duration of the quarter, this would mean that Tesla's manufacturing pace at its Texas Gigafactory would be greater than 5,000 units per week. Despite the fact that Tesla is getting ready for that level of production in the first quarter of 2023, the company is not in a rush to get there in the fourth quarter because it is still working on developing the logistics to be able to handle that level of volume growth in the United States. In general, Tesla's aim for volume production is 5,000 units per week. This is also the point at which Tesla intends to be with the Model Y at Giga Texas before shifting its focus to the manufacturing of Cybertrucks. In addition, sources familiar with the situation have revealed to Electric that Tesla is currently dealing with a certain level of order cancellations in the United States. These cancellations are said to be the result of lengthy wait times, which have caused the circumstances of some customers to shift between the time they place their order and the actual delivery of their vehicle. In addition to this, Tesla is coping with the fact that some of its customers want to delay the delivery of their vehicles until the following year so that they can benefit from the forthcoming increase in the EV tax credit. As was previously reported, Tesla is not as cooperative as some other automobile manufacturers are about the new EV tax credit, and the company is holding its customers to the order contracts that they have signed. They are unable to speed up delivery in an effort to secure the tax credit that will take effect the following year. Because of this circumstance, it would appear that Tesla is getting anxious about the possibility of ending up with a large number of vehicles in inventory in the United States, as it did during the previous quarter. Tesla's Demand Problems It appears that Tesla's demand problems in the United States are just temporary, with the primary cause being the tax credit, according to the indicators that have begun to emerge in recent weeks. If that is the case, then you can also anticipate a spike in demand in January when the tax credit is scheduled to become active, when it will be in force. It would appear like Tesla is getting ready to launch a big new production at the Texas Gigafactory. You would think that the automaker could also try to ramp up production sooner in Q4 and build inventory for when that demand comes. 
but it appears that the automaker is being more cautious and trying to avoid having too many vehicles in inventory at the end of the quarter. This is something that you would expect the automaker to do. So, are you excited for Giga Texas's fast production speed? Share with us in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends so we can keep making videos like this. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.